Welcome, class, to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe Rule number three, which states, use meaningful class names. Have you ever been in a room of developers to discuss a new class name? It is not always an easy task. There are times when opinions differ. Your company or team should follow agreed-upon standards and naming conventions to assist with the decision process. Here are some common standards. A class name should use a noun. The name should be short, not too long. One or two words are common, sometimes three. Once there are four or more words, it becomes a phrase, not a noun. Most languages have a name written in Pascal case. The first word begins with an uppercase letter. If there are additional words, each new word begins with an uppercase letter. The name should not contain special characters. Although allowed by many languages, unless your team has a specific need, their use should be avoided. The name should not contain abbreviations. For clarity, use the full word. The name should not contain acronyms. Don't use AP in place of accounts payable. To avoid confusion, it is preferred to spell out the complete name. Your team can agree on exceptions like HTTP and URL. When used, only uppercase the first letter. For classes that represent a physical object, use a singular name, not a plural. Establish a convention when using a suffix in the name. An object that does things can contain a suffix as a clue to its responsibility. If you receive a GIF, what does it contain? It could be anything. Unless you have prior knowledge, opening it is the only way to find out. Now, if you receive a chocolate bar, there's no need to open it. Everyone knows the contents of a chocolate bar. One item was ambiguous, which required closer inspection. The other item was familiar and did not. The name given to a class is similar. It should be meaningful and reveal the intent. If other developers need to inspect the contents of a class, then the name is not meaningful. Consider a better name. Coming up with a short descriptive name is not always easy to do, but well worth the time spent. There is no perfect class name. Many names will work and opinions will differ. Just remember to follow the agreed upon standards. You know you're successful when the name clearly describes the purpose and is understandable by most, if not all, developers. Leave a comment down below with challenging class name decisions your team made. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Great!